Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm getting ready for an event. I'm actually in Florida with Benefit. They invited me on this trip with a bunch of other influencers and I'm having a great time. Today is the second day and I just had to get ready for this event. I thought that I would just sit down. I was actually going to sit down and just like do like music over this, but I ended up like being really chatty. So it's just kind of like a talk through get ready with me. I'm going to show you how I got this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Please subscribe and let's get started. I used this yesterday and I really liked it. This was in the bathroom when I got here. This is the Kula Sun Silk Drops. I really, really liked it and it worked out because I totally forgot my sunscreen. <laughs> I wash my face and apply my moisturizer. So I'm gonna apply this. I feel like it gives just like a really beautiful glow too. Glowy, glowy, glowy. I'm gonna do my Laura Mercier Perfecting Primer that's got dirty from my bag. I feel like that sunscreen has like a stick to it too not like crazy but if i forgot my primer i bet i could just use that sunscreen i still haven't brushed my teeth yet because i can't brush my teeth until i'm done with my coffee i haven't been wearing foundation at all i've just been doing my spf this it cosmetics thing it is tinted but it doesn't have like any sort of coverage it just kind of like neutralizes redness and stuff i'm just gonna use this i think and then do some spots like <laughs> spot concealing and i just apply this with my fingers it is a little light for my body, but that's okay. They say it works for like multiple skin tones. I don't see how. And now I'm going to spot conceal I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I still have leftover mascara on. I was so tired last night and I went to bed super early too, but I was really tired last night. So I did not do the lashes. I'm like, I'm about to put mascara right back on. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna try just doing Mount Vesuvius in my under eye because the rest of my skin is looking pretty good. I'm better half with it. So I'm gonna do that with my Sigma FO3. I'm in the shade 30 in this concealer, by the way. It is a little bit yellow. So I might bring a little bit of this throughout the face to give some of that color, but we'll see. By the way, I feel like my makeup always looks better when the weather's warmer out like my cream bronzer i used yesterday the um nude sticks one it was just way more emollient and just blendable where i feel like at home it's really hard to blend out right now and i swear it's because it's cold out and there's not as much humidity where here there's a little bit more and it's nice and beautiful out so i just feel like and I've had that before where I've done my makeup before in my parents' basement, which was freezing at the time. It was like mid-January. This was years ago. Um, I'm adding more of this color down here just so it matches. Yeah, my products like did not work that well. And like my um, <laughs> lash glue like coagulated and it was like thick and chunky because it was so cold. And I just think, I don't know. I feel like I always do my makeup better in the summer and now it doesn't last as long in the summer but I feel like it just looks better and I think it's because it like melts onto the skin better. I could be wrong, but if you live in a cold climate or you live where like the seasons change, let me know if you feel this way or if you've never paid attention to it, start paying attention and see if it changes as the year gets warmer and warmer because I am curious. <laughs> okay, I bring a little up here. I'm gonna use that product now, Ashley. This has been one of my go-tos. This is the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay Stick, contour stick. And I just use it with my It Cosmetics number no. seven brush. Just pick it up on the brush. And then I just start stippling it on the skin. If you find it's difficult to go like straight in with a stick contour or bronzer type of product because it's kind of tricky to blend out, try doing it this way where you pick it right up on the brush because I feel like it just goes on more diffused already and then you don't really have to like work on blending it. It just kind of is already blended out as you apply it. I gotta be honest, like all year I've been feeling very not myself and then i'll have days where i feel really good and motivated and excited and then it goes away and i've been very like pretty like i've been pretty confident that it's because of the weather <laughs> like i definitely get like seasonal depression every single year like in the new year i need to just make my new year in june because i'll be way more motivated and just kind of like reassess my goals halfway through the year when it's like beautiful out and stuff but yeah like Coming here, I'm already feeling just like 
like a weight off my shoulders and it's funny because I have a lot of stuff to do while I'm here in addition to this like I have a lot of emails and contracts and like um, things I'm working on and I don't feel the stress of it yeah I don't know I'm just feeling really good and it's like I really want to next year go somewhere for like a month <laughs> if I can I don't know if that's possible but I would love to do something like that someday and just like in the winter just kind of like go south <laughs> so I can get away from like the winter blues because it never fails every single year I get them and then I'm gonna bring this on my nose do a little bit of contouring my lip, and then use my fingers that's the other thing too is like my hands aren't cold so I can blend out cream products with my fingers so easily and it looks so good that way I wasn't planning on sitting and chatting through this, but I just kind of was in the mood. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like in a really good mood. I might make this its own video um, and show you my makeup today because I haven't done like a bold lip in a while and I'm gonna do a bold lip today. Okay. Feeling good. I have three different powders. I do the Makeup Forever H104 under my eyes. I mix it a little bit with this yellow one. I don't know the name of it, but I like barely ever use it. I could probably get away with not using it. But when I have a self tan on, I just touch a little bit into it. Um, and I just set this under eye area because anything else is like just too heavy for me. And then I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I get right here where I get so oily right on the sides of my nose and like where my pores are here on the front of the cheek I also bring this right on the center of the forehead and in between my brows that's an area that I'll forget but I like really need to concentrate this right here and then I know this is very, very excessive but whatever I use the by Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder in the shade natural and I take this everywhere else very lightly so I'm just using whatever's left in the cap here to get the rest of my forehead and lightly over the bronzer I don't want it to like cover it too much and now I'm all set <laughs> so I want to try these bronzers let's see I think I'm gonna start with Hula Light just because I've heard it's really good. So I always go in with like a very light hand at first. I like that it doesn't seem like I could mess it up because it is so light. <laughs> but you, you know what I mean? Like it's not like, I don't wanna say it's not pigmented because it is, but it's just such a natural color for my skin tone that it's not overpowering it, you know? It smells really good. This is this makeup tutorial isn't sponsored by the way they did bring us here for free and i am doing some sponsored content while i'm here but this specifically is not just so you know okay i think i want to add a little bit of the regular hula just for shits and gigs this is the regular hula pop into there this has a little bit more red in it which you know i love and then i'm going to use my little contour brush and get the sides of my nose a little bit. <laughs> Something's on my face. So I'm gonna do the California blush. I need this to be up so I can see what I'm doing. This mirror does that like really just change color it turned off and turned back on so i feel like it looks that a different i do highlighter i have tickle and i have cookie everyone has been saying cookie is like glorious however i know it's very silvery so and this is very pinky so i think i'm gonna go in with this one this is tickle oh yeah that's more so what i'm looking for today i might add just a dab of cookie there we go. Mixing these two together. I always get my nose 
uh, highlight with my finger and then blend it out. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade number three. This actually came in the Desi box that they had. But yesterday I tried it and I don't know if it's because I set my face and then I went in and did my brows while my face was still kind of like wet. But it like wasn't working so I think I left the cap off or something and it like dried out. Okay, I think it's because I set my face yesterday and went in before it was dry. Because this is working alright. I'm so excited to get microblading done, mainly for the front part of my brow. I feel like I can do the tail fine. It's like the front part that always looks like crazy to me. I'm excited to get some fluff in the front there. I've had the hardest time finding a microblading artist that I really like and trust because a lot of times you can see that like it's very harsh in the front and I don't like that. I want it to be very um, just fluffy and look like super natural and different microblading artists have different styles so it's not like some are bad and some are good. It's just like a different style. So I'm going at the beginning of April. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to vlog it. So you guys can see it and then i'm also going to vlog like the healing process because there is an extensive healing process as well my card got full on my chip here so i just had to empty that so while that was going on i just did a little bit of eyeshadow let me move you closer um so i used the man eater palette and i did purr in the crease and then i added some of the um, going coconuts palette from ColourPop. These two have been like my go-to palettes lately. Just like this and just kind of tapping it on the lid for just a little bit of smokiness. And I also brought it underneath. I think I'm gonna add some of this color. The Saucy shade is one of my favorite shades like in makeup. I love this color. And I'm just gonna layer it on top of the Shell Yeah shade. Get some warmth. I think I'm gonna go into those highlighters that I used on my face and use them on my eyes. So I'm gonna grab Cookie and Tickle and mix them together. Pop them in here. Oh, that's perfect. Up on the brow. Ooh, that is icy. I'm gonna take Saucy on this. Deepen up the bottom. I'm going to take Midnight, which is this deep, dark brown. I'm going to use that on the lash line just to deepen the lash line a little. Gotta say, having the lash lift is very hard to do your makeup with. I don't know if I'll get it again just for that. Like, I got glue all up in them because they're, like, curling into my face. It's not the easiest. So they gave us these lashes. What is the style? They're by Batty B Lashes and these are in the style Baby Doll. They look like this. These are some dramatic top ones so I really need to balance them out. So that's all done. I have to put the lip on but I'm going to do that after I'm changed and my hair is done. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll be back and show you the lip. <clears throat> okay, so I just changed and did my hair. I'm gonna do like a really bold lip. I haven't done a bold lip in forever, so I'm excited. I hope this isn't dried out. Um, this is the Shock Value Lip Liner from MAC. So I'm gonna uh, overline and fill in my lips with this. Now that I've got the outline pretty much there, I'm going to put this on its side and just fill it in. That's how you're going to get the lasting power. And now I'm going to go in with two different MAC lipsticks. I have Candy Yum Yum, which matches this like almost perfectly. It's like a super bright fluorescent hot pink. So I'm going to put that all over. And it's a retro matte, so it literally feels like the driest lipstick you've ever worn, but it doesn't go anywhere, especially when you pair it with the lip liner like this. And then I'm gonna go in with Relentlessly Red, which is like a hot pinky red, and just go over top of that too. Kind of just warms that up a little bit. 
I already sprayed my face with the Morphe setting spray. I did that earlier when my uh, chip was full. I'm just quickly gonna reset right here in my T-zone with some powder just to ensure that it stays because it is warmer today. So I just wanna make sure I'm matte in those areas. But that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked hanging out with me today. It felt really good to just chat and do my makeup and just hang out. And it's such a beautiful setting. I'm just staring at the ocean. And so it just felt really good. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will see you very soon. Bye.